Hello, welcome to Book Lust. I'm Nancy Pearl. My guest today at the University Bookstore is film critic A.O. Scott. Is that okay? That's fine. So I called you a film critic, but, <laughs> but what I think of you, I called you a film critic because your new book is Better Living Through Criticism, How to Think About Art, Pleasure, Beauty, and Truth. Before I read the book, I thought of you as a film reviewer. <laughs> so do, do you see a difference in those? Um, I, I sometimes hear that, that distinction made. It doesn't, it doesn't feel any different to me. I mean, I, I think that um, you know, people often put, put criticism on a somewhat mm. higher plane than reviewing, that, that reviewing is about kind of summarizing and, and providing consumer advice. Um, and um, it may be true that you know that that not all um, reviewing is is criticism, but I think quite a lot of it is. I mean, I think there there are um, you know people who who have who have written um, very um, interesting and insightful uh, and ambitious and even lasting pieces of work that started out as as reviews, even mm -hmm. even short form reviews. So. Um, I guess I always think of myself as as, as writing criticism, even um, in in a in a somewhat more elevated sense. Even when I'm on deadline, trying to get 500 words out about some you know some terrible movie that I saw Tuesday night. Right, right. Here's what you say in the book. You say, among other things, you say a critic is a person whose interest can help to activate the interest of others. So how does that work? I think it works um, through the communication of your own um, of your own enthusiasm in many cases, but um, but of your own uh, of your own feelings and responses. I think that that criticism always starts with with you um, as the person seeing the movie or, or reading the book or hearing the music or whatever it is, whatever the art form is that 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 you're engaged in. Um, and uh, and having a reaction to it and feeling a certain way about it and and taking um, that very subjective and 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 sometimes just just you know um, inarticulate or unprocessed feeling that you might have and trying to to put it into thoughts and put it into words, turn it into an argument, turn it into something that will be useful, um, provocative, um, maybe inspiring to someone else. Um, so I think it's that kind of transitive process where you, 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 you're, you're taking something that happened to you, an experience that you had, something that was of interest, um, whether you hated it or, or, or loved right. it or felt somewhere in, in between, and trying to get someone else interested in it. Um, by, by writing as well and thinking as clearly as you can. I think the, 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 the writing discipline of criticism is very, very important. Mm -hmm. So criticism is not just having an opinion. Right. <laughs> it's doing something with that, it's, that opinion. Right. Um, and, yeah. I mean, opinions are the raw material. Right. Um, we all have opinions, um, which means that potentially we're all critics. But, uh, but there's something else. Because if, 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 I'm, if I'm writing a review um, and all I'm saying is my opinion, if I just say, well, I like that movie. Right. I thought that was a good movie. Um, and even if I'm saying that in, in kind of in, in fancy language um, for, for, for a few hundred words, if I say that movie was brilliant, that movie was mesmerizing, that movie was thrilling, I was delighted, I'm not telling you anything. Right. I'm not giving you anything that you can use. Um, I'm just kind of you know, expressing myself. So I, I, it needs to go a step further. I need to think about, well, how do I, how do I justify, how do I communicate, how do I turn that experience into some kind of um, into some kind of argument so that so that in a way the the more people read your reviews or a critic any critics reviews and get to know you as expressed through the the criticism the better readers of those reviews or, or consumers of those yes. reviews they'll be i i think that's right i think that that what um the, the most important thing uh, for a critic, um, and what what we hope for in our our readers, um, is is trust, is not agreement. I mean, sometimes right. people will come up to you and say, "I agree with everything you say," and right. you think, "Well, that's yeah. that's very strange." Right. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I agree with everything yeah. I say. Um, but what you want also as a reader uh, from a critic is 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 someone who you can trust, which means someone whose whose point of view and whose whose temperament and his whose personality and whose voice you can recognize um, and is, is clear to you so that you can say, okay, well, this is, this is what he thought about, about this. Um, 
you know, he seems to have liked this movie. I know, having 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 read him for for a while, the difference between his taste and mine. Mm -hmm. um, so I can kind of make a judgment of, of, about about what I might think about that. That that's a very useful um, service to perform, and and I think that it does. Um, I mean, I've I've been doing it now for for a pretty long time. Um, I, I I hate to think about how old I've I've grown in this in this job, but. Uh, you know, but it's 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 more than 16 years at this point um, that I've been reviewing films for the New York Times, and and I do hope that over that time I've 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 cultivated some some trust um, in um, um, among readers um, who will come and and read what I write um, and uh, and in a way know what they're know what they're getting and 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 be able to 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 rely on my opinions and also I hope enjoy what I right. what I write. Yeah. I, I enjoy your well, views, so you. I have to <laughs> say that. Um, so, so <clears throat> when you have a kind of a visceral reaction to a film, um, do you then, and you, then, then you're sitting down to write the review, do you feel that you need to step back and figure out why you have that visceral reaction? Yeah, I sort of the, uh, what is the Wordsworth phrase? The strong emotion recollected in right, tranquility. Right, I mean, exactly. it, it's kind of it's right. kind of like that. You know, something something did happen, um, and and a movie can be a very powerful um, experience, um, a negative, positive, ambivalent. Um, and yeah, you want to step back from it and and not necessarily always take it at at face value. I mean, the the thing about um, Movies and the and the nature of their power is that that a lot of it is is the kind of the manip manipulation of audiences' emotions. So, you can sometimes feel something um, and then step back and and look at it and and not like where it came from. I mean, you know, sometimes you'll you'll laugh at something um, and you'll think, well, but what I was laughing at was 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 cruel or obnoxious, yeah. um, and you know, and and you want to sort of um, in a way. Complicate the, the the response and and distance yourself from or analyze the thing that 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 produced it. Or you can be very moved by um, by by images or scenes or or episodes in a story that that can be phony and sentimental and dishonest. Mm -hmm. um, so you you need to to take that step. You can't um, completely disown that reaction. You can't pretend right. that it didn't no. happen. You have to be honest about it. Um, but you also do need to, to interrogate the sources of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, my experience is with books, uh, reviewing books, and, and what I, what I d have discovered is that when I have those strong reactions, I need to trace that back, and it's yeah. usually something that happened or some earlier book that I read or something <laughs> right. that I, right. or, you know, why it makes me so angry to feel manipulated, yes, emotionally yes. Ma manipulated. Well, and sometimes you're, you're vulnerable in terms of that. I mean, I remember when, when, my, when my children were younger, you know, there, there would be certain scenes, um, right. you know, with, with, with parents and children saying goodbye or certainly any time. I mean, the thing that would get me the maddest was the way that, that movies would use um, the endangerment of children right. as a kind of, you know, an, a, a way of pushing buttons. Right. Um, and, and it felt to me like they were playing with something that was just much, you know, but was guaranteed to upset me. Yeah. Um, right. and, and then I would say, you know, you get kind of mad. You say, well, what, what kind of trick did you pull on me? And for what reason? And, and do you feel, is there, does the critic have a responsibility to communicate that to, to, the, to the reader or? I, I think so. I mean, I, I think you know, you, you you shouldn't go too far into um, into yes. confession. Mm -hmm. um, you're 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 not um, you're not you know writing your memoirs in in, in, in the paper. But um, but I think there's nothing wrong with telling people you know who you are and where mm -hmm. you're coming from. Um, I, I think um, in this I you know I I, I follow uh, my my late friend Roger Ebert who who. Um, you know, would always defend kind of writing criticism with with the whole person and from mm -hmm. from your whole person. So sometimes readers would get mad at him. You know, when when he would um, they would accuse him of you know bringing his politics into into reviews. It just you know leave that out. Just write about yeah. the movie. And he would say, well, this is this is who I am. Right. You know, you know that it's it's not going to um, it it. it it, it's part of what I'm what I'm saying to you. And you, you have to be you have to be honest about that because none of us um, 
certainly in criticism, there is no there is no view from nowhere. I right. mean, we're all we're all situated somewhere. We're all um, a person sitting in a theater seat watching a movie um, with a past, with a past, and with a, with a with a with a background, right. um, with a set of prejudices and experiences, with with you know. Um, with blind spots and 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 sensitivities and and phobias and and right. and whatever else um, and again those things aren't the whole subject of your criticism you're right. not using um, watching the movies as an excuse to tell people all about to you know, analyze your yourself life. Um, right but you 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 need to be you need to be honest and in a way transparent um, of, about that um, mm -hmm. because I think that's that's just part of 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 building the trust, you know, and and of that that you're you're a person talking to other people, um, so those people should know as much about you as, as as they need to. How do you feel about um, a crowdsourcing? I think it it is it is all criticism in a way, and 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 one thing that I argue in the book is that is 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 that this is or one of the things about this book is not. Um, about the job that of of professional critics as right. much as it is about the activity of criticism as something that that ideally in a way we all participate in mm -hmm. and that's that's part of the the public discussion of 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 of, of works of art um, and uh, I, I I think that um, you know I, I have a certain amount of professional pride um, and 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 I take my job seriously and I think it's you know it's it's um, it's 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 a very demanding thing to uh, to be a professional writer and to come out you know every 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 week and, and put things in print and, and so I think that the idea that crowdsourced criticism or you know user generated critical content um, would be sufficient in and of itself and could replace the work of professional critics I I, I don't think um, I, I, I I'm I worry about that, yeah. and 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 I, I I don't like that idea. I think, on the other hand, the 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 existence of all of these um, platforms and the chance for um, for people who are not professional critics um, to have their say and to respond um, and 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 uh, and to in, engage, um, I think that's in many ways a very positive thing. I mean, I think that you know there's there's as as there always has been. Um, there's a lot of um, uh, uninteresting or obnoxious um, or, or or dumb opinion out there. Um, that's always been true. They're just we haven't always been able to you know <laughs> to yeah, see it right, right, right. right there. But I think there's also um, uh, a, a fair amount of of, um, of insight and of, uh, of 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 intelligence. It's always a matter of of you know finding the the you know the separating gold the among the, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> among yeah. the dross. Yeah. After 16 years, do you ever think there's never going to be another movie that I love, or, 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 or not? I'm not a fan of, of, of nostalgia. I'm not a fan of, of um, narratives of cultural decline. I think that that, that critics, um, you know, need need to be skeptical um, about about what they see and need to you know need to, to judge it according to high standards. But I think the idea that you know that all the best stuff is behind us is a, is 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 self-defeating and terribly unfair um, to to the to the the present and future generations, um, and and I do see enough work any given year. I see enough um, movies that keep that kind of optimism um, alive and 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 keep me thinking that well, this is a young art form and people are still figuring out what to do with it, and it's always changing technologically. So they're going to keep trying to figure out. Um, New ways to, to 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 tell stories and to put images together, and um, uh, you know, as, as as long as I my eyes and mind are, are are open enough, I'm hoping that I'll be able to 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 respond to what's new and interesting and exciting. Has, has there ever been a year when you came to that end of the year list that you and Manola Dargis and mm -hmm. now Wesley Morris, I guess, yeah. does? Where you, th where you all were so far all over the map that you, that yes. there was no, like if you did a Venn diagram mm -hmm. of where you all were. I think that's happened. Um, I mean, I can't think of a, there, there, there are some years where, where, yeah, where, where Benola and I think have been, have been um, miles apart, and it's partly because there are, there are so many movies that come out in a given year. There are, there are hundreds, um, and. There's um, such wonderful uh, heterogeneity. I mean, I think that if I had to concentrate um, 
on Hollywood movies all the time. Um, and if the, the, the paper um, kind of required that to be the, the, the center um, of, of, of every weekend section. Um, and, and then, then it would be, um, there would have been some pretty, some pretty miserable years there. But um, luckily, uh, we're able to look at, at you know, at, at, at cinema as this, this, this global um, yeah. art form. And, and there's been, um, and, and, you know, to look at, at the, the amazing flowering in documentary mm -hmm. filmmaking that's, that's happened in the last few years, um, the, the, the resurgence of, of film industries um, in, in various countries, right. you know, Argentina, Romania, um, Senegal, the Philippines. So there's always new stuff um, coming at you. And, uh, and there's a lot of, of great things, great movies to find. And there are a lot of different ways that movies can be really exciting. Yeah. Um, there are, you know, large scale epic stories that can just sweep you up and, right. and, um, and take you, transport you to another place. There, there are intimate, small scale stories about, um, you know, the lives of, of ordinary people or just a very small emotional occurrences in the world. Right. Um, so it, 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 it does seem to me in a way um, inexhaustible and, and, and I think Manola and I have similar ideas about what we're doing as critics and about what's important, but we have very different tastes. Uh -huh. I think it was after the Oscars, um, you know, were announced or, may, or it could have been before, but there was a long article where you and she, and I think Wesley Morris yeah. as well, were talking about. That was after, after the nominations, right. when, when the kind of the, um, and, and the, you know, the Oscar so white um, right. uh, protest campaign um, started, and, and, there, and, and there had been the shocking, it was actually the Los Angeles Times, which just put all of the faces of the acting nominees yeah. on the front page and, and you know, and, and said, so you what's going on? Um, and and so we um, the 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 three of us kind of took took our our, our shot at, at talking about um, what was going on here. One of the things um, that came out in that article was the difference between high art and and low art, if you will. Um, how and why these big blockbusters seldom are seen right. as serious right. films, right. which is the same issue in books, yes. in, in literature. D does it, I'm, it, how, where do you come it's, down it's, on it's, it's, it's interesting because I think it's, it's, it's a little, it, one of the great things about being a, a, a movie critic, I was a book critic before I was a movie critic, and, um, and I enjoyed it and I loved writing about books and I, and I still do um, when I can, but most people who review um, books for major publications, I mean, are, are on a fairly narrow, you know, let's say higher um, track in, in terms of the publishing industry. So you review literary fiction right. and not so much genre or commercial right. fiction, you review serious nonfiction. Um, and, and that's just sort of how it, how it goes, and that's partly just because the quantity of books is so enormous that you couldn't get to them all. Movies, on the other hand, you 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 look at them all. Right. You know, you look you look at at high, low, and middle, and and it's a different and the org and it's not hierarchical in quite the, the the same way. So you look at big commercial blockbusters and genre movies and documentaries and mm -hmm. indie movies and foreign films, and they're all you know they're all going into the hopper for your ten best list at mm -hmm. at the end. Um, the problem with the Academy and with the Academy Awards is that there is it's not quite a high low thing. I think it's more insidious than that is that there's this idea, which is a very old idea in Hollywood, of the prestige picture. You know, this is mm -hmm. like a movie that is, um, it, it's more really of a classically middle brow than, than, than mm -hmm. high brow thing in that it's, this is us putting on our fancy clothes and this is, you know, this is a serious movie because people are speaking in accents or they're wearing <laughs> historical costumes um, or they're suffering terribly or this is, a, this is a great performance because, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio is crawling through the snow covered in blood. Um, and, and so there's this idea of what's serious, what's prestigious, what's worthy, um, that is very narrow and that excludes an awful lot that is really good and really yeah. interesting. So it, it excludes, um, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily always exclude, let's say, um, African-American actors, but it does often exclude very interesting movies that, that are kind of more in touch with, with black pulp popular mm -hmm. culture and with African-American culture and with, with black life as it's lived in the United right. States. So you can have movies about heroic figures from the past but, and, and they can get nominated and honored. But, but a movie about, a movie I think like Creed, a wonderful mm -hmm. movie, um, which is really just 
it is a boxing movie um, about uh, you know the struggles of a young fighter, but it's actually just about a young African American man um, trying to make his way uh, in 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 the world, falling in love, mastering his profession. Um, and who isn't, you know, who, who's not the representation of a social problem right. um, and who's not necessarily a great, you know, heroic uplifting figure. And that is invisible to the Academy. Um, and other things that, that aren't as, as sort of politically charged as that are invisible too. So that in, in the performing categories, comic performances, mm -hmm. um, which are extremely difficult, which, are, which can be great, great performances, never get nominated. So I, I think that the the ideology of prestige you could call it at the at the at the academy um is is really uh is is one of the things that um has caused the 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 oscars to to really feel so often that they're out of touch um with the audiences and also to me with what is often most vital and interesting and exciting about the movies themselves um, one of my favorite critics from the 50s and 60s was Randall Jarrell. Mm. And, and I, 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 I think because he critiqued one of my poems by saying he had an uneasy respect for this poem, <laughs> which, you know, thinking back after I did a lot of reading of his reviews, yes. that was a great compliment. <laughs> yes. He was wonderful. I'm so glad you said that. Because he, he really was, he, he is one of my... Um, my critical touchstones in a way, and I just I just go back and I read I read uh, poetry in the age, and yes. I read um, uh, a, a lot of those reviews, and just the the, the way he would write about friend or foe. Right. I mean, and 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 the the the, the stuff he wrote about um, about Robert Lowell early in Lowell's career was 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 fantastic. Um, and yes, he's 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 just a marvelous marvelous critical voice. And do you find writing negative reviews easier than writing positive reviews? Uh, it is easier um, and it's kind of a vice I think. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's more fun. Yes, it um, is. And it's partly you, you, you can, um, you have more access to, to, to being funny and right. to feeling clever and you're in a position of superiority and you can right. kind of show off and editors love it and, right. and readers often like it and you can make people laugh. Um, but I think it, it's, it, it's a bit of a vice, you know, it, it, is, it is fun and, and easy, um, but you have to be cautious about it. I think mm -hmm. there, there are, there are um, some critics and reviewers who, who I think um, get too enamored of the, the, yeah. the negative voice and of the, of the, the, the sharp takedown, because I think that it's much harder and in a way therefore much more valuable um, to communicate enthusiasm um, and to do it in language that's just as fine and just as, 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 as witty and just as well crafted. Um, but I think it is of greater value. I mean, I think there are some um, negative reviews that, that survive and there, and there are certainly some um, important, I think, dissenting um, reviews, I think of like Mary McCarthy writing about Arthur Miller and Tennessee Williams, um, which are, are amazing pieces to, to read, just partly because they're a nice counterweight to all of the, right, all, the you know, adulation. yeah, the adulation right. and the consensus that these are right. masterpieces, right. to have someone come along and say, mm, no. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, the, the, I think the real, the more valuable work of, of, of criticism is, is, is um, is writing that 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 can connect um, art to its audience and can can make a case for something and can and can um, convey the excitement of of discovery um, and and of of, of enthusiasm. Um, I mean, there's there have been some critics. I think I think W. H. Auden who who would always say, you know, well, you don't waste your time on negative reviews. Mm -hmm. You know, these things. Um, Bad books will be forgotten anyway. You don't have to. You don't have right. to, to. To you know, hasten their their inevitable cr progress to oblivion. It's much more valuable um, to 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 try to make sure that that the worthwhile ones um, are 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 remembered. And th and that that is a, a very kind of um, generous and and worth. I mean, not not every critic um, no. will will obey it. And and um, and I think you can you know you can certainly go too far in. Uh, in, in, in being too nice. And one of the things that you talk about in, 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 um, in your book, Better Living Through Criticism, is the whole issue of um, snark in mm -hmm. reviews mm -hmm. and, 
and uh, and you talk about it specifically in terms of literature. Yes, yes. But it, 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 would it? Do you believe it translates to? I think I think it translates. I think it's different in different in different art forms. Um, I mean, I trace a little bit in the history of book reviewing, where where there there are sort of periodically someone will write an article saying, you know. Famously, Elizabeth Hardwick, you know, back in in like the the late '50s or early '60s, about you know how book reviewing is too nice, too soft. You know, a book is born into a puddle of treacle, she yeah. said. And then um, you'll have someone else come along, you know, inevitably saying it's too harsh, it's too mean, it's too negative, it's too polemical. Um, and uh, and this just kind of goes, you know, um, over and over and over again. And sometimes at the same time, you'll have one person saying, you know, everybody is just too nice and too soft, and someone else saying everyone is too nasty and too mean. Book reviewing is a special case in a way because everybody is writers, so everybody mm -hmm. is sort of like right. dealing with each other and it, it can get, it, it's, it's, it's a little bit it, of a... Incestuous. It's incestuous, yeah. And, and, um, and, and movie criticism is a little different. I think there's also sometimes a sense of art forms that are in danger or are marginal that need to be protected. So, um, oh, and, that would be. and I think, and, and, and in, in books and literature, there's a lot of that. In film, there is too, with, with independent movies and foreign language films. And you think, well, these things are so, are so fragile. They're coming into the marketplace, um, and, and, and they're such small, precious little flowers in this, you know, um, in this landscape Possibly full of landscape. giants. And don't you need to sort of protect them and help them? Um, and, and that, um, I, that concerns me always, because I always think that that becomes a sort of self fulfilling prophecy that it, that if 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 you're going to um kind of cosset and protect um these 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 delicate flowers um you're going to possibly do them as much harm as 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 good um and 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 you're going to uh undermine um the requirement to be honest which is um which is not necessarily to be cruel right. you know uh, or to be punitive or to be harsh um you don't, you know, a, 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 a you know, a, a, a book of poems or a small, small independent movie um, or an experimental dance performance, you know, you don't need to, to come in there with a loudspeaker and attack it and tear right. it down. Um, but on the other hand, if it's if it's submitting itself for the world's judgment and 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 you're as a critic part of that process, um, you have to tell the truth about it. You have to be you have to be honest. Um, you can. You can be as fair and as kind and as gentle as you want, but at the end, you have to, you know, you, you owe it to the to 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 yourself, to your readers, and to the to the to the art and the artists um, themselves to 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 call yeah. it as you see it. Wow. Well, Tony, I wish we had more time because I have so many more <laughs> questions that I would have asked, would have liked to ask you. But thank you so much. That for was coming wonderful by. talking with you. Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome.